Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Hero Factory review, and this one is on Bulk and Core Hunter of Breakout Wave 2 from 2012, of course. So, on the front of the bags, you see picture, uh, also the two logos there, and picture of the sets that come within, and in the background is the outskirts of Maka Hero City, of course. And as you see, is uh, the name of the set over some caution tape and 300 game points for the online game and joking hazard and recommended age age recommendation 7 to 14 set number amount of pieces and on the back of which you see different pictures of the sets of course and all the features them actual size of the helmets and also uh, how to use the online game and various warnings and yeah. And so now onto the manuals, which same picture as on the front of the bags and everything. How to enter the code to the online game. And, and then win on the online survey. Out of Lego Club, the pieces included in the set. And then the combination model that the two make. And then the last set. Lego Club, add of the uh, Marvel Bilbo figure sets, which I'll also review for a future Throwback Thursday. And then HeroFactory.com, then Stormer and Speed at Demon, next ne oh, which next next Throwback Thursday, of course. So on to the sets. First off is Bulk, or Duncan Bulk, oh, it's the third version at this point, well, and of course two other, but there's two others yet to, yet to come, and yeah. So, as you can see, there's plenty of good bulk to him, which, well, fitting to his name, of course. And of course, good things in this larger size, like Rock and all were, but, but yeah. And then for the legs of which, the common foot pieces in black, which I think also could have worked out in silver since it's his main color, but yeah. And then those new add-on pieces like some of the other sets also had. And then the five long armor shell pieces in orange like we've seen on thorn racks. And at least he comes with only two of them instead of one nice for mox. And also a little more of that. Of the extended limbs, of course, and for the chest plate of which, pretty much quite the same as most of the other hero sets, but in gunmetal gray, and also has has some uh, gold gear printing onto it, and hero core piece, same as all the sets did, and also interesting as you can see the hand cups here and. There on the parts of his torso pit, which the instructions say you can do, but I do kind of like that. Add an extra bulk to him, but yeah. But you can also attach it on here, like all the other sets also did. And underneath that chest plate, which the extra long torso piece, of which, of, uh, of which right for that. And of course, for his shoulder pads. Made of those like Savage Planet pieces there, or, which do kind of hinder movement of the head, but whatever. And this one arm of which, as you can see, is just the basic limb pieces in both gummel gray and orange, of course. And the other arm of which, just just the same deal as Raka did, is just have it with the one small limb piece which I think it should have been better if it had if it was the same as this one of which and also regular hand connector piece as the other sets did in the launcher which pretty much got the same deal as Nexus. And as for the helmet and head of which all of it, both of which the same as Bulk 1.0's helmets, but 
of course, but in a little darkish shade of silver, of course. And if you look onto the back, you see regular foot piece there as back armoring, and also with a few Technic bits to it, it connects to this shoulder launcher with with two of those launcher pieces of from the 2.0 wave and shield piece also from that in silver like we've seen on Stringer also nice to see here and also get a couple of rod pieces or that use these are using made to look be little symbols or, or missiles of course interesting use there you know they're kind of the only gold pieces on the set also would have worked out in silver but yeah also, I think it's to match with his chest printing, of course. And I guess that is it with bulk. And now on to Core Hunter, of which a quite cool, cool uh, set of which, of which pure solid color scheme of mainly red and or black and red, of which, but with a little accent of gunmetal gray, and also with one standout of the sphere in green. I think it would have been better if it was either black or at least red. Probably black would have made it a little better, but yeah. And so from the legs of which, simplistic of the other ones, but also those new armor piece add-on pieces in black of which, nice to have, and also the chest plate of which, under chest plate, same as most of the hero sets in all all had, but in black which and also the like uh, also black bulky chest plate piece like what Black Phantom and other sets all had, of course. And this one arc and of course has three of those Savage Planet uh, pot pieces, but <coughs> but in red and also clock pieces in or in red and these in black which quite cool, quite useful for mocking, and just like most sets of which has the shorter limb pieces for that, when I think, because all has obviously, I think the extended little ones would be much better, and, yeah. and that makes it kind of hard to cuff him, of course. And as for his weapon here, which is comprised of the uh, 2.0 shield piece in black, great for mocking, and the two uh, fire villain uh, pieces there, probably for him to tear out cores of heroes, of course. And for the other armor witch, it's kind of the same, but comprised of the new launcher pieces, but lower piece in red, also nice to see, and also the same exact uh, chain thing like we've also seen on Raka and Dire Man sets all did. And also another one of those pieces on the back of which adding a bit of back coverage and one of those ball joint pieces like with 2.0 also did. And so now on to the helmet and head of which I see Glatorian head there and in this helmet of which quite hollow and all but of course with six eyes to it quite cool and all and also quite barren from the back of which and of course the single connector bit to connect to the head of course but at least does get plenty of light piping through there which all right from the front view of which although but again, the color scheme quite close to that of the scrawl, of course. And yeah. Get in here. And now on to the final verdict. Oh, sorry about the background noise. So my overall verdict, I think these of which uh, are quite cool sets from 2012, of course. Like great color schemes and good color and good pieces for that. And also a good great version of bulk, of course. And of course, different use of the chain piece or cuffs, of course, but yeah. And also Core Hunter, which quite intense for a villain set, but at least also great to have, but yeah. And also, 
although I think their arms of which could have been a little long, could use longer pieces, but yeah. And so now if y'all still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to these sets, I'd say definitely pick them up, eBay, BrickLink, whatever. And that is it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.